Oh, hi there. Uh, I believe on a different channel I had made a video similar in nature to this one as to why I don't normally make what are called memes, which are pictures with words on them. And one of the reasons is because if you're a social media person, anyone can come along and change what you've said and it could be the exact opposite of what you think. And, you know, obviously I'm not in all for that and I'm not some sort of trained monkey who wants to see a bunch of flashcards to learn about something or hear a joke. I want to hear someone tell me it. Anyway, some people that don't understand and part of it is you gotta make a meme. Uh, like there's all these forums that I'm attached to that are all like, why aren't you making more memes? Why aren't you making more memes? And I'm going, look, I don't have much social activity because basically every door and every window uh, of my social life has been closed and locked. Anyway, I did something I normally don't do because uh, it's not because I'm personally concerned about it. But there are people who will perpetuate an image, as I said, that is incorrect to what someone like me is actually thinking because they will change the words on the meme or the picture to indicate something else. That's just what they'll do because they're underhanded. That's how they operate. And there are always people that can't be tracked. You can't figure out who they are and act like, you know, everything they're doing is right and what you're doing is wrong because they have some sort of foresight, uh, some sort of outside knowledge that you do not have, when really they're just a bunch of cunts. Anyway, I had made a point to make a video, not a video, well this video, and I made a meme where, because it's just easier to explain things in layman's terms to some people, anyway, Ryan Reynolds. I'd said, yes, he is a handsome man, physically. Uh, he keeps good care of his body as far as exercise, eating right, and probably yoga and things like that. Um, he's got a charming personality because he's been groomed for the position he's, he's in. And uh, I also made note that, uh, guess what, we're all human, so believe you me. Him being uh, over 40 years of age, he, he's going to have physical attributes that are not appealing. Those will just uh, get uh, censored out. People won't notice that stuff. But the impact of him being in mainstream media will still, you know, brainwash a lot of people. A lot of people will grow up as adults thinking, yes, he was a handsome man and... Um, all this and that, but there's more to being uh, physically attractive than your physical appearance. I mean, that's obviously a big factor and all that, but you have to take into consideration this. Um, Ryan Reynolds achieved his position in Hollywood and his cinematic career because he was a man whore. All right? That is just a fact, and you can clearly see it as his character as Deadpool. And, like, I don't know if this is a surprise to some people. I'm sure it is. Uh, and unfortunately, um, this is both for men and women. Uh, I guess this segment is for men. The idea of going with a lot of women sounds like a great idea. Of course it does. But uh, it quickly swerves out of control. And, you know, all of a sudden you're not in, you're not in, you, you don't make the decisions. And that's the problem, big problem with Hollywood in the cinematic universe is that you lose control. You're not in charge of what goes on in your life. And to me, that's rubbish because that just means when you're not in charge, that means anything can happen and it, you, you, you got to take it. And that's a bunch of, you know, like not good stuff. And on the flip side, for women, um, they see, you know, a man who appears to be very attractive on the television and they think, oh, he's the greatest and all that. Uh, I got news for you you're not going to want to hear. Guess what? Other women before you have come along and thought the same thing. And they have what you would call uh, gross ideas. That's actually what happens when, uh, you know, really 
twisted and strange women uh, get attracted to men who are handsome and have uh, a bit of power and a lot of money and are physically attractive. Uh, is that they get perverted ideas and everyone always thinks it's always men who have perverted ideas. No, 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 no. Women are also capable of perverted ideas. And there are a lot of things that women can do to men that um, are disgusting and will turn off other women. That is the whole point because they won't care because they have done it to them and then therefore they're marking their territory. I mean, there are plenty of things that women uh, can have done to them or willingly do or, you know, whatever, and are equally disgusting towards regular men. It's just one of those things that they, they can do, and uh, they do it for, you know, various reasons, whether it's to advance their career, whether it's because uh, perhaps they found somebody who's oblivious and unaware of their past history, and it doesn't matter if they're disgusting or not, because the society around a person, uh, you know, where a social life uh, is basically dead in its tracks, and it's, you know, all windows and doors are closed, and the only perception of this woman is the one that that supposed person has. So they don't question, where has this woman been? What does she know? All these sort of things. And, you know, a lot of it can be disgusting stuff. And they just create a scenario where it's awkward to ask, it's argumentative to ask. And I'm gonna put it, I'm gonna put it clear. Like um, this is, you know, getting to uh, my perspective in dealing with women because this is a multi-part conversation. Uh, if I don't know where the bitch has been and she's all secretive about that, guess what? Even as an involuntary celibate, get the fuck out of here. I'm not gonna be embarrassed by some slag who shows up who's gonna fucking just walk out the door anyway, you know, for maybe 10 minutes worth of pleasure, and she's, you know, the filthiest woman, maybe, maybe, well, she'd definitely be physically attractive, or it's just not happening, uh, she has to have that aspect, but it's definitely not happening if, you know, she was passed around like a doobie in her, um, friend circle, or even worse, it just ain't happening. On the flip side, the same thing happens to women. Uh, in regards to who's supposedly an attractive male. They go, they don't know anything about him. That supposed male, such as Ryan Reynolds, will lie, make it awkward to ask, uh, and all that sort of stuff, uh, and inhibit women who do ask. He'll, he'll just turn around and go, I don't need you, and he'll move on his way. And the fact is, it is because he has done disgusting things. Deadpool is really really popular in Japan and he's popular in Japan for you know various reasons because they like comics over there and all that kind of junk and uh, I do not like the Deadpool character I, I do not like him and the thing is he will have had to have done gross perverted things in Asia and Japan and Japan um, it's the truth I'm speaking the honest truth the porn industry over there is one of the filthiest in the world. And no doubt, somebody who looks like Ryan Reynolds, who makes the kind of money as him, who's gone over there, uh, will have been put in situations that are repulsive and will immediately discuss everyone. And then people go, wow, why isn't this widespread information? And then there will actually be perverts who go, where can I find this? Um, I don't want to find it. I know it exists. That's, that's all I gotta know. That's all most people gotta know is that, yo, man, there's things about this dude that ain't attractive. And that would be one of them. Because it's more than just physical attractiveness, it's psychological. And also past experience and all that sort of stuff. All this is important in deciding if somebody is attractive or not. And Ryan Reynolds has been around the block. That is not an attractive trait. It just isn't. And um, I don't even want to presume what he's been up to, but I have a very bad idea that it has been uh, very disgusting things. And I am not in support of him, and I never did like him. And he always sounded like, uh, you know, what would you call it, uh, a political reject. That's what I think he is. Because, don't get me wrong, 
uh, people who work in the movie industry, the cinematic industry, guess what? They are politicians. Yeah, that's right, they're politicians. They are there for the propaganda apparatus. Now, politicians, when people think of them, they think of people in suits going to a boring building and talking about nothing. No, 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 no. That's what you think if you're ignorant and you're dumb. Uh, they have full say in what goes on, not full say, but uh, a predominant say in what goes on in the cinematic world. And it's a different set of rules than it is for normal people. It really ought not to be, but it is. Just because there's money involved, uh, when people will say corruption and things like that, they figure, oh, well, that's got to be, you know, some country in South America or something like that, or Africa. It doesn't happen here. Wrong. It's a different kind of corruption. Uh, but it's still corruption. They still commit crimes. They don't admit it, but it's the truth. They, can, they, consider, they do things that normal people would consider immoral. Grotesque. But, as an alternate fact, they are in positions of power and authority, so people who know that ought to keep their mouths shut. But, I mean, look at myself. Where and what can I do? Um, as I said, all windows and doors are closed to my social life. Is it really going to offend them that much if I have a bunch of things to say about them that they're not going to want to hear? Because guess what? I'm not the only male who thinks this way. I'm not the only one. So guess what? I might be the only one talking on the, on the YouTube. I have no idea because I have no alternate sources of information. But guess what? Coming around and hurling a bunch of insults, is which, which is what I've heard anyway, you know, through the grapevine, uh, directed towards me, doesn't stop this ideological movement of different thought. And, uh, you know, it's time that certain perceptions change, and it's time that uh, people who are the real bad guys are pointed out for being such. And being complicit to such actions um, makes, you different, uh, makes you different and guilty on a different calibration. It doesn't make you uh, that much better. It makes you a little bit less worse, if anything. If anything. And, you know, it isn't what people want to hear. People want to hear, you know, sing-songy, happy days kind of fucking bullshit. And you want to know the truth? That's not what it's like. People are cunts. And the higher up the food chain you go, the more people you run into who are cunts. And they're bigger cunts. And they prey upon people's weakness of ignorance. And they prey upon the fact that they don't have as money or power or whatever. They use any, any tactic they can to win. Uh, they'll, they'll, they'll prey on anybody. They'll do it. And it's, it's real, real despicable. Real despicable. And, you know, it's not just that Ryan Reynolds um, is a filthy filthy pervert that's that's one thing uh, he is physically attractive he sounds nice enough he caters to the female audience uh, to an extent especially as Deadpool and all that um, but you don't know what kind of nasty person he is in real life he's probably a complete sack of shit he's probably a total asshole and you know for the couple hours a day where he has to pretend to be a nice guy, he's an actor, remember, on and off screen, um, that shouldn't determine who he is. Especially if he goes out there and makes real shitty fucking decisions about important subjects, which I guarantee you he does. Guarantee you he does. And if he expects me to be afraid of him because he's a little powerful dead, blah, 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 guess what? That's propaganda and rhetoric, and he can go fuck himself. As in, you know, like... I don't know, um, shove his penis in an electric sock or something, uh, socket. Um, I don't like them. I don't like anybody who has too much money, to be honest with you. And I don't like politicians. They're all a bunch of shit. They're, they're all assholes. And around these parts, we've got a guy named John Horgan who's in charge, you know, pleasant enough, blah, blah, blah. Maybe he is a decent guy because what? He's introducing the minimum wage increase, which is, you know, a Canadian policy, so he's complicit in Justin Trudeau's policies, and therefore it makes him an asshole because of what I said in my last video of him realigning what 
the middle class is. He is part of that, even if he's just being complicit and following orders. Guess what? You follow the orders of the person who tells you to. And if you don't, then I guess you're out of a job. But guess what? There are going to be other people who may yet have more power than your bosses and they're going to give you different orders and you damn well better be responsible for them and they're the voters because guess what sack for shit if we don't trust you if you do a bunch of shitty things on Justin Trudeau's command guess what you're out of a fucking job and don't think because you got a pleasant demeanor and all that shit that that means we're won over because guess what people are sheep that is true a lot of people are dumb a lot of people need to be told what to think but guess what there are also shepherds who aren't going to buy into your bullshit. And guess what? I'm not going to go so far as to say I am one, because ideally I know where I want to be right now in life, but uh, there are other people who are more capable than I am and will have similar uh, thought process as I have. So anyway, this is all in combination of that meme I made of uh, Ryan Reynolds, where I said, look, he's a handsome man. But you don't know where his circumcised penis has been. He's gonna be filthy in that category, especially as, uh, you know, the Japanese like him so much. And don't even start with a race card on that one. No, it's the fact of the matter. The porn industry, especially over there, is particularly bad. I'm not gonna say it's good over here because it isn't. But uh, over there, it is particularly bad. Maybe it was a job that needed to be done. And this is a point I've made uh, in various replies or comments I've made on social media and things like that. I may have said it in videos and things like that as well. But you can do everything right according to your position and still be wrong and still lose. And people like Ryan Reynolds, John Horgan, or any other fucking uh, cinematic uh, actor or politician, you can do everything to the best of your ability and you can still lose. So do not fuck with the masses. We are the ones who keep you in power. We are the ones who pay for the movie tickets that allow you to obtain your power. And that can be taken away by simple, down-to-earth rhetoric. Exactly what you imply towards us, except our rhetoric might just be better than yours. Because yours is dumbed down so harsh, uh, because you really are a throwback dictatorship. You're not capable of explaining your situation in a plausible manner and having people still do what you want them to do. You have to keep them stupid. You have to make sure that whatever intellectual properties they have are focused on whatever subject, whether they're into classic cars that constantly need to be repaired, whether it's their job or whether it's sports or whatever. You have to keep people focused on the little things. You know, not important things and, you know, um, and all that sort of stuff so that they don't care that you're shafting them. Well, guess what? There are going to be critical people who go, hey, hey, I don't agree with you. Don't think you're right. Don't like what you're doing. This is contradictory to what's best for me. And guess what? They're not going to be like people like me um, they're going to be in their own situation, and, you know, there are going to be some points that they agree with me and some points they're not, and guess what, I'm up in the conversation, if they think I'm wrong for a legitimate reason, I'll listen to them. Uh, however, um, I am not going to sit back and say nothing. Even if what I say only goes so far, it is better than sitting back and just letting these assholes come in with their iron jack boots and, uh, just, pfft, underhandedly, in a discreet way, uh, enforce authority that is contradictory to what's best for me. Um, because uh, these people, uh, you know, uh, a lot of things about them, you know, uh, are quite pathetic, actually. I mean, the Deadpool character, I think he's pathetic. I think, you know, Ryan Reynolds has had to see grotesque things that happen in the world. Because as much as I don't like Ryan Reynolds, he's not the worst person in the world. But uh, I, don't, I don't like him. I don't have to like him. And this might be a coping mechanism for him for what he does see in the world as far as how nasty people 
are really and you know I could point out everything wrong that Ryan Reynolds uh, I believe that he does wrong and you know the sexual thing that I was telling you about as far as what women have done to him what men have done to him as well uh, maybe he didn't have a choice maybe you know it was just, you know part of the deal or whatever but it's all disgusting and he will lose audience members when they find out how disgusting he is and it isn't any tactic he wouldn't use on anybody else he'd turn around to an involuntary celibate such as myself and make up any story he wanted to to dispel any negative press he'd do that and he'd do a faux conscious and he'd figure well if he doesn't actually hear it himself it doesn't count well guess what you're wrong asshole you're wrong and um you know, uh, it's, it's very not difficult to explain these concepts to people. It's surprisingly easy. And, you know, this network of lies and, and corruption, guess what? Their only reaction to being contradicted is if you run into these uh, acolytes or whatever of these individuals in real life, maybe because they're on the payroll, maybe because they're just stupid assholes, but guess what? Their reaction is because they don't want you to know anything. They don't tell you what their argument is. They don't try to debunk yours. They become either they they run away, they disappear, and a lot of the times they become belligerent. And I've said that before. They just get angry, and you have to respect them because they're angry and they're stronger than you. Uh, guess what? You can get angry and stronger than me, or run away, but that's not going to change my opinion. And uh, that's very simple to explain to people. Guess what? If somebody just runs away when you confront them with facts, if somebody gets belligerent just because uh, they have a certain belief system, okay, you you pretend you go along with it if they're stronger than you, uh, just to get them to back off. Um, but that don't change how you think after the you know confrontation conversation had happened afterwards. And if you know that, then the rhetoric just crumbles. It crumbles. And you realize that you're not dealing with a human fucking being. You're dealing with a fucking ape. Who can't think and can't process anything beyond his own or her own, or her own, because women can do it too, rhetoric. They can't comprehend it. And um, those are sad, lowly individuals who are not intelligent. They just happen to have the ability to have people, sycophants, around them telling information and not always accurate information in fact a lot of the times it's what we call misinformation and don't be some douchebag who thinks just because it's on the fucking internet that they're telling you the truth I just said that in my earlier video and um, anyway I'm gonna leave this uh, I wouldn't call it a rant but I will have opposition that will call it a rant unbelievable I can slightly elevate my voice but you know they could be pushing over chairs, stomping their feet, um, even smashing their computers on the other side, but I'll be the one on the rant. The fuck, man? The fuck? What kind of fucked up simpleton world do we live in? For fuck's sake. Why the fuck are people so stupid? Anyway, I'll talk to you guys later. Have a good one, and for the people who get really pissed off about my opinions, just remember, there are other people who are like me, who um, you don't see on the YouTube, and they're not like me in every way, but uh, they're not going to go along with mainstream rhetoric. So, yeah, go ahead, get pissed off at me, I don't care. What are you going to do? I didn't do anything wrong, so uh, go fuck yourself. Anyway, talk to you guys later, have a good one.